Ashley. New on AM Extra this morning, how to care for America's aging population. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, by 2030, nearly one in five Americans will be 65 or older. Well, as people age, the need for behavioral health and substance abuse treatment does not go away. But experts say those resources can be harder to access and become underutilized as folks age. So to help address some of those challenges, Portland State University and Oregon Health and Science University have launched a new Center for Excellence. Joining us live this morning to talk more about it is Walt Dawson. He's the co-director for the Oregon Center for Excellence in Behavioral Health and Aging. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Happy to be here. This is a really, I think, interesting topic for folks that people might not think about until it's impacting yourself or your family directly. So what what are the center, what's the center looking to do here in, in helping an aging population? Sure, so the uh, new center is a close collaboration between Portland State University, Oregon Health and Science University, and the Oregon Health Authority, along with another, a, a number of other kind of key partners around the state. Um, and, but the, the real kind of, I think, vision for the center really began with the Oregon Health Authority and with a number of leaders and advocates within the aging and behavioral health system here in the state who recognize that there's a real need to um, really better focus on the behavioral health needs of older adults. And kind of with that um, initial vision, the center is really focused on three things. One being the development of the aging and behavioral health workforce here in Oregon. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, conducting uh, uh, translational or what you might say is applied research in the space. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, um, carrying out policy analysis and uh, evaluation to support this population. Mm, that makes sense. Okay, so why is a center like this needed? We talk about the lack of resources or maybe they're underutilized mm -hmm. for people, you know, again, as, as, as they age. Why is that the case? Why is this, why is this center needed? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, Oregon's population is aging rapidly. Um, that's true of our population in the United States broadly and quite frankly across the world. Um, at the same time, there's an increasing need for behavioral health uh, amongst older adults. Um, and there's a number of reasons for that. Um, in part, that might be greater um, awareness and recognition of those needs. Um, but there's also other factors at play. Um, think, for example, about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on our collective behavioral health uh, in terms of social isolation and loneliness, increased substance use, um, and the trauma and loss that was experienced. So there's this increased need as well as increased population. Hmm. There's also significant stigma around mm -hmm. behavioral health, um, around substance use and mental health. Um, that stigma is particularly ingrained among around our older adult population. Yeah, say in that generation. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, and I'm trying to think, of just in terms of you know messaging, when we talk about a lot of these issues, I don't always see the conversation involving older Americans. So how can folks access some of these resources? How can people reach out and get involved with the center and, and learn more? Yeah, so we're, we're just kind of getting started. We're just launching the center. Um, we are going to be offering, um, you know, I, I mentioned uh, focusing on the, the developing the workforce. We're going to be offering trainings. We're going to be offering a conference this fall. Um, we're really focused on kind of uh, developing uh, uh, a leadership academy to really kind of create the pipeline of next leaders within aging behavioral health in Oregon. Um, and we're kind of just letting folks know that we exist and trying to build the partnerships that we need to carry out the work um, and really raise awareness about the behavioral health needs of older adults. I say that's, that seems like that's half the conversation is right. like letting people know, you know, you, you kind of, I was one of those people in that group, Emily. I didn't realize that, that, that this was a conversation that needed to be had. So it's great to have it here and again, get those resources out there. Walt, really appreciate your time here on AM Extra. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And if people want more information, please go to the OHSU PSU uh, website. Uh, we're screening a film tonight, Keys, Bags, Names, Words. That's not about behavioral health, but it's about dementia and aging. Mm. And, uh, there'll be an opportunity to learn more. That's great. Okay. Well, if you want to find more uh, information about the center, we're going to have a link and more resources posted 